And with that, we are on to the last wine. Uh, very, very excited for this one. Uh, first thing I want to say before we announce it, this is actually the last of the 2019 vintage to be released. Um, so the best growing season in Virginia, 2019, that we've seen in the last 10 plus years. Um, My entire career, I'd say at 15 years of being in Virginia, uh, nothing compares to what, what happened in 19. So. Well, then I, with that, I just want to say, I hope you're excited as, as I am because the 2019 Harrison House is just fabulous. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead, um, let's break down the blend. Uh, we'll talk about this color a little bit and go from there. I'll try not to gush too much, but yeah, 19 was a very special year. Um, didn't quite know it as it was happening, but once these wines got the bottle, once they started aging and developing, we, we knew we had something special that doesn't come around very often. The Harrison House is obviously named for the house here, so it is a property wine. Um, it's a field blend of our Cab Sauv, uh, Petit Verdot, Benoni's Vineyard, uh, in, in similar ratios. I think this one is 60... 60-40, you were like... Yeah. yeah. Uh, so 60-40 uh, of our Cab Sauv, uh, Petit Verdot. Um, and I really think they, they played well together this year. Um, you know, Harrison House sometimes has not been one of our, our biggest and most uh, proudest Virginia wines, but this year I, I just think it really hit the nail on the head. It's a great growing season. The grapes work very well together. Um, it's a special wine, I'll put it that way, and it's one that we're not going to be able to remake very easily. It, it depends a lot on Mother Nature. Uh, and as I was saying, this color is very dark, especially compared to the 20s. Um, it's hard to even see through the middle, but contrasting with the Petit Syrah, it's not really purple. This is red. This is dark red um, and deep reds, but it really stays in the, in the lane of red. It doesn't really uh, jump out to purple, um, which is very uh, characteristic of Virginia, in my opinion. So, yeah, I my experience. When we were talking about the color rings on the Petit Syrah, I mentioned magenta. Mm -hmm. Here, I'm seeing more ruby red. Right? Absolutely. Exactly. So, that's the outer layer. And then, as you said, it just gets darker as we are going deeper into the middle. Um, yeah. So, 2019. Wow. Very earthy on the nose to me. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, that forest floor, the, the, the fresh compost, uh, even bends itself to kind of a, a, like a dustiness. Um, you know, like you walk into an old house that hasn't had air movement for a while. Uh, not like mildew, and not like something rotting, but just you're smelling history. You're smelling, you yes. know, definitely age there. Um, and it comes, it comes across really pleasant, in my opinion. So, well, wow. Yeah, yeah, definitely that like leathery forest. I mm -hmm. mean, we're, um, but. Yeah, steak lovers usually oh, tend to like smells like that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, different uh, charcoal smells that you have going. Um, okay. Yeah, this is, this is a wine to be savored. There's a lot going on. Um, on the palate, it's a little, like the leather's definitely coming through. Uh, it's like a barn, like dried straw. Those kind of those kind of characteristics. Um, those, and, those tannins are big. Mm -hmm. Black pepper on the finish. Mm -hmm. I mean, that black pepper is just chewing away at itself. Yeah, I think that's the PD kind of punching through the cab saw, uh, making sure that you, you don't it doesn't get lost behind it. Because the cab saw, if you guys remember the night the nineteen cab saw that's a fantastic wine, probably the best uh, Virginia cab saw that I've ever you know been lucky enough to to make. Um, and this one, I think, you know, adds a lot with the Petit Verdot, it brings a lot more to the table, so. Yeah, no, and just like you were saying about uh, the uh, Petit Syrah, I'm looking at my glass right now, and I'm saying those tears. And they go up higher this time. Right? And they're going up higher this mm -hmm. time, yeah. Um, I think the tannin structure on this is bigger than the tannin structure on the Petit Syrah. I don't think this is, I, this, I would not describe as velvety in any way. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is really gripping onto your palate and letting you know that it's there. Um, this is a really nice, nice, lovely one. Wow. It is, and they're both they're both young, and yes. which is great because both these wines are tasting so good right now. They only have upwards to go uh, for the next, you know, bare minimum five years. Both of these wines are going to be uh, evolving and aging quite nicely. And as Amikai said, this one is a little bit more robust and kind of big in your face. Um, I think the Petit Syrah will eventually kind of uh, spread its legs or, you know, stretch its legs, so to speak, mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, develop that. But yeah, I think this is a year into it, a year farther into its evolution, and it's really starting to uh, become a bigger wine and definitely still has its, uh, you know, upward trajectory. So, well, that's exciting because knowing that there are no limits on this, 
I mean, this is a wine that you want to buy. You want to. I mean, you want to buy a couple of cases. I'm not saying that, limit, that no limit uh, applies to me as well, so I can buy. Yes, a definitely, awesome. definitely. It's good to apply to all of our staff too <laughs> if you're watching this. So, um, but. Yeah, it is definitely a lovely, lovely red, red wine. This is going to put in your cellar, you know, buy a case or two and watch it evolve and try it every three months. Um, it, it's going to be quite nice for, you know, for its life. Yeah, it's very exciting. So with that, that concludes our August tasting package. Um, how is it almost August already? What is going on? Um, I want to think Harvest will be here. Right. Before before I Harvest is right around the corner, folks. Um, if you are interested in learning anything about Harvest, please pay attention to our Benoni Day series that we you can find online on the website. Uh, we have some things lined up uh, during Harvest for you guys to check out. So, so please make sure to watch that. And then like we said earlier, uh, starting August 1st, you can come to the winery, pick up your package, taste through all of these lovely six wines that we just poured. Uh, and yeah, anything to add, Seth? No, I, I, I will say this is a very strong package. These, these wines are top to bottom, very, very expressive, and I, I'm very proud to present them to you. Hope you guys enjoy them as much as I enjoy presenting them to you and, and making them. So fantastic. Well, if you guys see Seth out there, please let him know how much you enjoy his wine. And with that, I hope you guys have a great day. Cheers. Cheers. Later. Cheers.